I trained 16 amiibo to be the ultimate killing machines. I pit them all against each other to find out which one is the strongest. But first, some ground rules. Legal spirits are applied to the amiibo and they'll all be fighting with tournament legal rules. That means certain stages, no items, no hazards, that sort of thing. I'll chime in every now and then with some insight and so on. Special thanks to Exion Volt and Amiibo Doctor for their invaluable insight in amiibo training. Links to their sites are in the description down below. So without further ado, let the battle begin. Purple Soda versus Squidward. I originally wanted to name her Grape Soda, but Nintendo wouldn't allow it, probably due to an unfortunate pairing of four letters in Grape. <clears throat> anyway, Inkling's AI has never been anything that extraordinary. Just the opposite, really. Purple Soda is a grab type fighter with a normal personality. She has a tendency to go for throws and aerials while Squidward follows suit with a similar fighting style. His slightly worse attack power is made up for with a marginally better defense stat. Purple Soda is more well-rounded, but Squidward excels in the air. His Thrill Seeker personality makes him a force to be reckoned with in the air. Especially since he's at a spirit type advantage. Purple Soda is overall more well rounded, but Squidward likes to go off stage for the punish. Squidward also seems to manage his ink consumption better. And with a well-timed down smash, Squidward takes the win. With the bucket. Kazooie versus Suavemente. Kazuya AI is considered one of, if not the best in the game. And Amiibo's no exception either. His attack type spirit gives him an edge here with balanced stats and a cool personality type. 
Your success in beating him relies on how well you can keep him off stage. Ganondorf hits like a truck, especially when he's in mid. Suavemente. And overall, very solid AI with an enthusiastic personality and a grab type spirit. Now, it's worth noting that a lot of AI are hard-coded to behave certain ways. Like with the case of Ganon's AI, he'll volcano kick at the ledge no matter what you teach him. The trade-off ability putting them on a level playing field doesn't matter after a certain point. The King of Evil wasn't long for this world, with Kazooie pulling off a clean win in the end. Well, excuse me, Princess! Versus... Puberty! Both Amiibo have the enthusiastic personality type, but Bowser Jr. does have the spirit type advantage here. Both of these Amiibo excel in the combo department, but Excuse Me doesn't have to start with 30% like Puberty does. Amiibo also struggle with multi-hit attacks, which makes Excuse Me's forward smash extra deadly. Puberty's superior weight also lets him survive a bit longer at higher percentages, so it's crucial for Excuse Me to keep laying on the punishment. Not everyone can hit puberty, but when you do, sometimes it'll hit you back. Instead of a deeper voice, you'll get hair on your ass. But with a disgusting spike, Excuse Me has defeated the Dragon Prince. One might even say she became a dragon herself.
These two are quite similar as far as stats go. Gohan has a neutral spirit type with an enthusiastic personality, whereas Threesome has a normal personality paired with a shield type. Gohan has impact run equipped, which can do wonders in terms of applying shield pressure, making it nigh impossible to act out of. Threesome's side special is nothing to scoff at, however. Ivysaur can rack up the damage, but Charizard can dish out the KO as well as take the hits himself. The thing about Pokemon Trainer's AI is that behavioral attributes are shared across all three Pokemon. And you'll come to see that they really like to throw. But uh -huh, shield pressure is no match for threesomes up smash. Three is greater than two after all. Tax Evader versus Chris Pratt. Both of these amiibo have enthusiastic personality types with similar stats and abilities. Taxivator's greater jumping power means he can chase you in the air and recover much more easily, while Chris Cat here can nail you with his reliable throw combos. Plus, he spent hours of his life stomping. Koopas! Activator manages to avoid death even at absurdly high percents for some reason.
And with a cleanup smash, Tax Evader manages to evade defeat as well as he evades the IRS. Man, that hard hat didn't help a damn bit, did it? Roblox's AI has the aggressive personality type associated with it, with his weapons, explosives, and fire-based attacks enhanced. Overall, a pretty solid character. A top tier in regular Smash, but does that translate well to Amiibo? In a lot of cases, it does. Sometimes not so much. He's got plenty of solid mix-ups when given the chance to mine and craft stronger weapons. He's a menace to pretty much anybody. Jack Black's got extra enhanced fire breath and the ability to charge smash attacks really fast. So in addition to being thicker than a snicker, he's a major threat. Especially being regarded as one of the best amiibo in the game. And with that nasty reversal at the ledge, Roblox is out of the tournament. Crapstalker versus Not Corey! This is a really strange matchup. Kirby's AI doesn't have too many issues, but being relatively light means he's easy to launch. However, his critical healing and metal means he'll recover 30% health and become significantly heavier for a short time when he reaches 80%. But when he's heavy, someone like Min Min can keep him at arm's length. Which says a lot for not Corrin. Her stats are probably the most disproportionate of the amiibo here. Her pathetic defense means she needs to stay in control of the fight at all costs. Curb Stomper, on the other hand, has some devastating combos and his ability to turn metal means he can tank and survive even the most powerful attacks, even if that window is small. I found success defeating Curb Stomper by killing him before he reaches 80% and turns metal. And for those of you wondering, Not Korn gets her name from the Min Min Spirit Battle where she was represented by Korn before being added to the game as DLC.
but not even DLC privilege could save her from being curb stomped. Aunt Daisy versus Peach Fuzz! Here's a bit of a personal anecdote. I had an aunt, rest her soul, who was actually named Daisy. So I named this amiibo after her. Peach Fuzz got her name from literally being the cat peach amiibo. Not as personal, but still punny all the same. Aunt Daisy prioritizes aerial combat and throws to secure her victory while Peach Fuzz goes for a bit of a more rushdown approach. Aunt Daisy having a spirit type advantage certainly helps too, but Peach Fuzz having an aggressive personality over Aunt Daisy's enthusiastic personality might make a difference sometimes. the end though. The personality type doesn't mean a whole lot so long as the AI and training are overall solid. Not much I could say about this matchup other than how one-sided it kind of is. We have one of the best amiibo AI fighting one of the worst, so for now, uh, enjoy the show? But with regards to training, you're gonna want to research the AI quirks of each fighter and which moves to teach. Apply the spirits before you start training. If you do it after the fact, you'll scramble the training data and your amiibo might express unwanted behaviors.
Excuse me, Princess. Versus Teresa. Threesome's AI tends to parry sometimes, which is great for certain situations, but can fail against multi-hit attacks like Excuse Me's forward smash. Side B comes in clutch for threesome, but excuse me's ability to juggle and spike her opponent is what puts her over the edge. Tax Evader versus Jack. The thing about Jack is that his smash attacks can kill very early, but they also leave him very vulnerable. Which tax evader takes full advantage of? When he catches your landing, Jack's up smash can punish bad spacing really easily. And when taught to do so, his down B can break shields too.
but with better maneuverability and attack speed, Tax Evader evades defeat once again. So something to note while training Amiibo is that you shouldn't teach it certain attacks, either because of what's already pre-programmed or because teaching it means they'd likely spam that move at inopportune times. That applies to Daisy's down air, which is why she doesn't have much of a game plan when it comes to landing. Sadly for her, Crib Stomper pretty much has an answer for anything she has. And she suffers the same fate as Squidward and gets 3 stocked. for a stock I've ever seen an amiibo take. Kazooie may be at a spirit disadvantage, but the ground combos and damage still make him a formidable foe. But excuse me's deadliness in the air makes this fight go in her favor. This normally doesn't happen, so this is quite the upset and surprise. Battle of the Pinkies, let's go! Tax Evader versus Curb Stomper!
Not a whole lot I can add here other than remark how interesting it is that Tax Evader had a good lead in the fight but blew it shortly after with Curb Stomper's impressive combo game and precision. Even though he's noticeably more aggressive, Tax Evader can be rather slippery which doesn't make him an easy target to hit. But Curb Stomper's smaller hitbox means he isn't so easy to hit either. Really weird that Kirby tries to inhale here. He was never taught how to do that, and I don't even know if he would know how to use it if he was successful. The IRS finally caught up with Tax Evader in the end. Final. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out which amoeba will be enshrined in the pantheon of deadliest plastic toys.
What a glorious fight that was! In a surprising twist of fate, Curb Stomper reigns supreme! I've seen Curb Stomper lose to some of the amiibo in this tournament, so to see him emerge a victorious is a complete and utter surprise to me. I have 16 more amiibo that have yet to be properly trained, and I intend on having another tourney with them in the future. And after that, have all 32 amiibo fighting each other. If that's something that interests you, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Till next time, all hail VM!